Hi everyone, in this video we are going to see how to find out the equations of straight lines that pass through a given point and that are inclined at a given angle with a given straight line. In the diagram, the straight line in blue color I have named it as A. Let's assume that that is the given straight line and its equation is A times X plus B times Y plus C equals 0 and let's assume that it is inclined at an angle theta with the positive direction of the X axis. And let's assume that the given point is P whose coordinates are X sub 1 comma y sub 1 and we have to draw two straight lines that are passing through the point P and equally inclined with this straight line A. Now the two straight lines that I have drawn there I have named the straight lines as line B and line C that are in light green color and they both make an angle alpha which is the given angle both the lines are inclined at angle alpha with the given straight line A. So as if those are the two sides of an isolated isosceles triangle right if you think about the triangle pqr then pq and pr they are like the two equal sides of an isosceles triangle angle pqr and angle prq they both are alpha so that satisfies our requirement that the two lines the line b and line c they are equally inclined with the given line a now we have to somehow find out the equation of line b and equation of line c now for us to be able to find the equation of line b or line c we have already been given one piece of information that is the point P and its coordinates. We know that both the lines B and C they pass through the given point P. So we have a point now somehow if we can find the slope of the line B and line C then we can easily come up with their equation and we can use the point slope form of equation of straight line. We have been given a point. Let's see if we can somehow find out the slope of these two new lines, the line B and line C. Now to find the slope of line B as well as line C, we have to know their angle of inclination with the positive direction of X axis. And in the diagram, I have tried to clearly indicate what would be the angle of inclination of line B with the positive direction of X axis and that turns out to be theta plus alpha. And similarly, the angle of inclination of line C with the positive direction of X axis turns out to be 180 degree plus theta minus alpha. The dotted white lines that I have drawn from the point Q and R, they are actually lines parallel to the X axis. So if we assume that the dotted white lines are parallel to the X axis, then clearly the angle of inclination of line B with the positive direction of X axis is theta plus alpha. And similarly, the angle of inclination of the line C with the positive direction of X axis would be 180 degree plus theta minus alpha. Now that we know the angle of inclination, then finding their slope is very easy. Well, their slope would be just like this. Let me make a quick note here. So slope of the line B would be tangent of theta plus alpha. Now what is tangent of theta? Well, we can quickly find that out. We have been given the equation of the straight line A. So tangent of theta would be negative A over B. Why? Because if you look at the equation of the given straight line, the equation is like this ax plus by plus c equals 0 and if we convert it into y equals mx plus b form, then we get by equals negative ax and minus c and from here if you calculate y by dividing both sides by a b, then it would be negative a over b times x and minus c over b and clearly the slope of this straight line is negative a over b that's the slope of the straight line and that's exactly what i have used here for the slope of the given straight line a and the angle alpha is also one of the given information so we know what is the angle alpha and we know tangent of theta then we should be able to easily calculate the slope of line b and then what would be the equation of line b well equation of line b can be written like this we can use the point slope form. So that's the equation of the straight line B. And now let's try to determine the equation of the straight line C. Well, for straight line C, what would be the slope of the line C? Let's find that out. Slope of line C would be equal to tangent of the angle of inclination, which is 180 degree plus theta minus alpha. And that will be equal to tangent of theta minus alpha and that is equal to tangent of theta minus tangent of alpha over 1 plus tangent of theta times tangent of alpha. So the equation of straight line C would be like this y minus y sub 1 is equal to tangent of theta minus tangent of alpha over 1 plus tangent of theta times tangent of alpha 
times x minus x sub 1. I am simply using the point slope form of the equation of a straight line. The given point is x sub 1 comma y sub 1 which is the point P. So using the point slope form we could derive the equation of the lines B and C. And if we want to write it in a single form then we can write it like this y minus y sub 1 is equal to tangent of theta plus or minus tangent of alpha over 1 minus or plus tangent of theta times tangent of alpha. Now why plus or minus and then minus or plus? Well when we take plus sign in the numerator we have to take minus sign in the denominator and similarly when we take minus sign in the numerator we have to take the plus sign in the denominator and times x minus x sub 1. And also we could denote it like this y minus y sub 1 is equal to tangent of theta plus or minus alpha times x minus x sub 1. That could also be another notation and they actually indicate the equation of the two straight lines B and C which are equally inclined with the given straight line A. I hope it is clear up to this point. Next we are going to take an example. Let's suppose we have been given the equation of a straight line which is x minus 2 y plus 4 equals 0 and also we have been given the coordinates of a point P whose coordinates are 4 comma 10 and we have been told that we have to determine the equations of two straight lines which are inclined at an angle of 45 degree with the given straight line. Alright, so we have the three pieces of information that we need. We have been given the equation of the straight line A which is x minus 2y plus 4 equals 0. Also we have been given the coordinates of the point P which are 4 comma 10 and we have been given the angle alpha which is 45 degree and the new lines will be inclined at 45 degree with the given line. So we have to find the equations of the two lines. Alright, now from the given equation here, can we calculate the slope of the given line? Well, the slope of this line would be like this. So let me make a quick note here. Slope would be negative a over b and what is a in this case? Well, a is actually 1. That's the coefficient of x. So that is negative 1 over b. b is actually negative 2 and that is equal to 1 half. So this is the slope of the straight line and we can imagine that to be tangent of theta. So we have found the value of tangent of theta and that is 1 half. Alright, now what is tangent of alpha? Tangent of alpha would be tangent of 45 degree and that will be equal to 1. Alright, now let's try to plug in the values here for the two equations. For the first equation I am going to write it like this. That will be y minus y sub 1. Well in this case y sub 1 is actually 10 because that's the y coordinate of the given point P and that will be equal to I am going to go with the plus sign here for this one. So you can say tangent of theta plus tangent of alpha over 1 minus tangent of theta times tangent of alpha times x minus x sub 1. In this case x sub 1 is actually 4. That's the x coordinate of the given point P. And from here if we simplify this then this is going to look something like this. It would be y minus 10 is equal to what is tangent of theta? Well that is 1 half plus tangent of alpha that is 1 over 1 minus 1 half times 1 times x minus 4 and from here let's just simplify the numerator and the denominator. So in the numerator we have 3 over 2 divided by this is 1 minus half that is 1 half then times x minus 4 and that is equal to 3 times x minus 4. So from here if we bring everything to the right hand side then the left hand side will become 0. So I am just keeping 0 on one of the sides and then bringing everything to the right hand side. So that would be 3 times x minus 12 and then minus y and plus 10. All of that would be equal to 0 and from here we can say that 3 times x minus y minus 2 is equal to 0. That is the equation of one of those straight lines. And let's find out the equation of the other straight line. For the other straight line I am going to use the minus sign. So that would be tangent of theta minus tangent of alpha over 1 plus tangent of theta times tangent of alpha and times x minus 4. And from here let's write it like this. We can say y minus 10 is equal to tangent of theta is actually 1 half. So that is 1 half minus 1 over 1 plus 1 half 
times 1 and times x minus 4 and we can simplify this as negative 1 half in the numerator and in the denominator we have 3 over 2 times x minus 4 and that is actually negative 1 third times x minus 4 if we multiply both sides by a 3 then we get 3 times y minus 10 equals negative of x minus 4 that is equal to negative x and positive 4 and if we bring everything to the left hand side we get positive x and then negative 4 and then we already have positive 3 times y and then negative 30 on the left hand side so all of that is equal to 0 and from here we can say well x plus 3 times y minus 34 is equal to 0 and that's the equation of the other straight line also let me highlight one other observation for this particular example the slope of the first straight line turned out to be a positive 3 right here let me highlight this up there in a red box so that's the slope of the first straight line and the slope of the second straight line turned out to be negative one third now why is it like that well because we used alpha as 45 degree so if we have two angles 45 degree and 45 degree of an isosceles triangle then the third angle of the triangle angle would definitely be 90 degree that means the two straight lines for which we are trying to determine the equations those straight lines are at 90 degree with each other that means they are perpendicular to each other and because they are perpendicular to each other the product of their slopes would be equal to negative 1 and in this case we have 3 times negative of 1 third this is actually negative 1 so that kind of verifies our answer that yes we got their slopes correct because both the lines are in inclined at 45 degree with the given line however they themselves are inclined at 90 degree meaning they are perpendicular to each other and that is why their slopes turned out to be like this i hope everything made sense thank you for watching see you in the next video